Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another special movie reaction. Today, like always, Thursdays, they're going to be movies that I kind of dedicate towards the spooky season of Halloween. And uh, we got done watching The Thing. I mean, we watched Evil Dead. And I kind of wanted to take the time to jump into a movie that I really admired, um, especially before I, you know, became a filmmaker and, you know, just went to college for film. And that is Son of the Dead. Now, Son of the Dead was one of the movies that I remember when I first watched and I was like man like why is it so damn good like why is this movie just so special why is it does it hold such a, a special place in my heart and you know obviously I was always an artist but now looking at it um, you know now as we look at it uh, today I'll be able to really understand from the filmmaking aspects to why I really love this film. Obviously the comedy is a big portion of it, but there's also really cool filmmaking techniques. Obviously Edgar Wright is a master at that. And also the, the duo with you know Nick Frost and uh, Simon Pegg as well. And I think the way that they use comedy with the filmmaking and also storytelling and just, you know, just, just creating this life within this film makes it such a good Halloween movie to just watch with friends. Nothing too crazy, nothing too depressing or anything like that. It's a very good movie, at least in my opinion, but even just, it, it just holds a good place in my heart. So I'm happy to kind of like showcase this uh, into the channel, uh, especially looking at it now from like filmmaking eyes that I, you know, now have acquired. So I'm really interested in kind of like tackling all the, you know, the really cool tricks here and there. And obviously, you know, Edgar Wright has this specific style of filmmaking. So that's going to be really cool to dissect as always. So I would highly recommend checking out the full length version of this. Like always, guys, those are jam packed with information. I, I can't really for obvious reasons can't put the whole movie on YouTube. Um, so there's a lot of things that I have to say because I have to, you know, cut it up for YouTube and all that stuff. So if that's something that you're interested in, if you kind of want to watch the movie beside me while also hearing all that I really have to say about the film, um, yeah, definitely check it that out. You know, that way you get to see the part that I probably missed out on, which is probably your favorite part. Um, so yeah. If that's something that you're interested in, definitely check out that Patreon link below. A special thank you to all the Patreon people, as always. You guys see them and their names down below. I mean, it is growing, and I just cannot thank you guys enough for just all the support, all the love that you guys have been giving me. Like, it's just been absolutely phenomenal. I am extremely grateful. So, guys, like always, I just want to say thank you again. Let's enjoy this spooky season. Be safe. Let's hop right into Shaun of the Dead. Before we get started with this movie, let me know what is your favorite Edgar Wright. I think my personal favorite is The World's End. I just really love that. But I know there's Hot Fuzz and then obviously Shaun of the Dead. So let me know what you guys think. Which one is your favorite movie? Let me know below. Thing. Yeah, totally. I know he's your best friend, but you do live with him. I know. <laughs> it's really cool because, like, something... I have to give already kudos to the writing team and everything like that. Just showcasing that he's spaced out. You already get a good sense of his character within the first couple seconds of the movie. Well, I mean, it's not that I don't like David and Donnie, you know. Guys, it's not that I don't like you. Right. <laughs> oh, man, that's good. An awesome example of how editing and filmmaking can make comedy just incredible. <laughs> what I love about, you know, Edgar Wright's worlds, you know, is that he's able to really set the environment within like the first couple of minutes. So you understand what this story is going to be kind of like living in because environment is extremely important. So it's not just like, you know, zombies or anything, but you get a sense that the zombie mentality holds a really interesting theme of this environment. I also think just in general, he uses like, for example, like a small town and he really is able to bring the town to life and have it meet the themes of the characters that we follow throughout these stories. You do know the front door was open again last night. <laughs> 
Come on. That good old, oh man, it's just so good. It's so good. Man, it just makes for just an entertaining watch. I'm gonna be a bit tied up today, so when you put the table, can you make it eight rather than seven? I'll try it at work. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Oh man, this this whole shot here is oh, it's so good. It's so good because it pays off later, and I love it. I love it when films give me a nice little payoff. Again, just another thing too is like obviously if you pay attention during like your second viewing, you would hear little bits of the story sprinkled. And, you know, in the environment, in some of these scenes, like on the radio, I think he was actually talking about the zombie infection. Okay. You've got red on you. You see, like, the military trucks in the background? Like, just the subtleties of it is just so cool looking at it again now. It's like, ah, it's just so good. It's really rewarding to people who watch it again, which I think is always a really cool win for someone who wants to look at a movie multiple times. Surviving. So are you living around here? Uh, yeah, you? Yeah, I just bought a place, actually. What? I know, this is okay. You still with? Like, I love that, like... <laughs> like, the whole zombie apocalypse is just, like, in the background. Like, it's an afterthought. Did you do anything special? Uh, Meanwhile, well, everything else is just kind of oh, like, you know, nice. I mean, it's centered around his world and his internal conflicts, but the zombie apocalypse is just in the background. <laughs> Anti of a blade, draft a man off, burn you the trophy wife. He's connected. Why do you think there's a rifle above the bar? Because the pub's called the Winchester. Oh, man. Again, like this movie and all of Edgar Wright's movies, they are the king of payoffs. They are the king of payoffs. Like... Everything has some form of meaning towards it, especially just how it's shot, how it's edited. It's just great. Well, I think of you. Oh, oh, as well. I've enjoyed your tea. Oh, oh man, that is so hardcore. Oh man. I got mugged on the way home from work by a, I don't know, some crackheads or something. One of them bit me. Why did they bite you? I don't know. I didn't stop to ask them. <laughs> He's so mad. <laughs> Door is open again. <laughs> again, like just the subtleties, the subtleties, the subtleties, the subtleties. It's just so well sprinkled throughout this film. It's uh, just great. And now we're coming back to this shot. Now, kind of notice, obviously. The difference. I just love how Edgar Wright's able to just transform a town or just whatever environment that the story is based around. Not just because of the zombie apocalypse, but to match the character's inner turmoils, you know? Hence why he's able to exist in this world and not notice a thing. <laughs> it's not jarring. It makes perfect sense for this character, for Sean. Man, this shot is just so, it's so good. It's absolutely awesome. I'm really flattered and everything, really, but I just... And hold it there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. This is just, it's so great. And at this point, that's when they realize something is horribly wrong. Go back inside. Okay. Hmm. Now, that camera movement reminds me a lot of the Evil Dead uh, and how they would, like, you know, Remus would always, like, point the camera uh, towards, like, the characters. So I wonder if Edgar Wright got a little bit of his inspiration from him. Three and four and six. You think this is the same thing? And M68 are all that are standstill. 
the Home Office has issued a statement. That's why you always got to leave the door closed. His older brother tried to tell you about that. But you guys see what I'm talking about with the payoffs? So great. Barricaded. Police is <laughs> now, some of these are limited. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Um, I think it was Blue Monday. And there was the original press out. <laughs> this scene is so awesome. I love this. Uh, no. Same coming. I like it. Oh, Sade. That's Liz's. Yeah, but she did dump you. Oh. <laughs> this. I'm going to the shed. But you said it was locked. Nice. As you should do with all things that are locked. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> well, nothing like a good old fashioned zombie cutting. Uh, what? Zombie cutting? I'm like discombobulated with my words. Zombie killing. And then. <sighs> ah, so good. So good. It's so good, man. Like, this level of, like, just storytelling is just so... It's so genius, you know? I would love to see the script to this. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. His angles are all just twisted over. Are you all right? Oh, thank God for that. That's very true. I guess during a zombie apocalypse, you don't have to worry too much about running over somebody who's a zombie. They're already dead. He's a person to live with. Mum, he chased me around the garden with a bit of wood. Well, you did call him a you-know-what. Oh, what? Did he tell you that? Yes, he did. Motherfucker. Sean. Sorry, Mother. Mum. Hmm. Like, these little bits of Sean's life and a lot of his insecurities as a person who's just trying to get his life together. Again, like, um, it really does. No, it's you that doesn't understand. It really does shine through the, the comedy and it, through the camera movements. You always seen through the zombie apocalypse, you know? And it really does help his character grow into what it is later on, you know? Like, his whole arc. As a hero, as I think it is authentically told through this, through the story. Philip, look out! Mm. Oh, he got a chunk off of him. Oh my goodness! Yikes! Can you let me in, please? What are you doing? Hmm. <laughs> and now he's able to climb up the window. Like, those little subtle clues are just showcasing how his character is kind of metamorphosizing into the hero. You know, we see at the end of Shaun of the Dead. All right, Flash, what do you have in mind? I think it's really good because he's starting to, you know, make decisions for himself rather than avoiding it. And you're going to see decision making being a major key to his character development and his character's growth throughout the film. That's deactivated. Surely. It's not, I'm telling you. John's connected, Big Al says so. Yeah, well, Big Al also says dogs can't look up. They can't. Oh, can't they? No, they can't. Of course they can't. Wow. This entire dialogue is just so well shot. For how chaotic this is. Motivation, somebody to look up to. And I, I thought it could be me. Mm. Wow, this this scene right here, like, I remember when I first watched this, and I I was like, whoa, like, why is why is this so damn sad? Not all right. What's wrong? Mum, it's Philip. He's gone. Where's he gone? Mummy's dead. No, he isn't. <laughs> He's like, oh, get the heck out of here. <laughs> but wow, that entire scene is just 
So good. I really think you don't listen to me, Mum. Listen, there's not even your husband in there. Okay? I know it looks like him, but there is nothing of the man you loved in that car now. Nothing. <laughs> oh, man. Even as a zombie, he wanted to turn off that music. Everybody okay, buddy? I know he wasn't trying to, but, like, it's, again, clever filmmaking. Another thing that I wanted to touch on is just how good the pacing is in this film. Like, it's just so good. The way it just breezes through this environment is just... Whew, it's so good. Have you got somewhere you're going? Uh, yeah, we're going to the Winchester. The pub? Yeah. Right, well. Good luck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think this is how it would go down in Zombie Apocalypse. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this film is so good. Ah, man, it's just great. I died my G fucking king of the zombies. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> oh, man, this movie is awesome. If there's any zombie apocalypse I want to be a part of, it's probably most definitely Shaun of the Deads. Because at least, you know, I can have some fun with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah come on! Oh, fun! Okay, wait till I go and then get inside. Yeah. I won't be long, I promise. Come on, you basic let's go! Yo, that is just like, you gotta have some balls to do that. There's only one person I know who was able to do that, and his name is Rick Grimes. <laughs> no, but that's crazy. That's absolutely insane. Any more than you do. But what I do know is that we're here now, and we have to make the best of it. I have to get me a double vodka. Oh, you are. <laughs> she was about to get heated, man. You were about to. You were about to be in a world of pain. Hog lumps. Mmm. Mmm. Pickle. Hello, Mom. That was the smoothest entrance ever. My goodness. Things feel so much better when you just catch them with one hand, you know? Mmm. Well, that is not good at all. Oh, boy. That is not good. Oh. Oh. oh, man, no. Hopefully I can have this in the video. Oh my goodness, man. It's just so good. It's so good. What? Being on set for this must have been just so damn fun. No, they are beating this old man to death. They definitely have to. <laughs> didn't want to say anything. I thought Sean would be worried. Mm. Oh, man. Yeah, this was... This this film definitely has its moments of like, damn, this is... This is sad. <laughs> Hits you right in the feels. 11.45, keep it simple! Top left! Uh, reload, I'm on it! This is Call of Duty Zombies, straight up. Call of Duty Zombies to the max. Fine. I never thanked you. For what? For these two mm. beautiful mum. Again, do you see how like everything just kind of loops back together? Not just because it's cool, but because, you know, it, it adds more to the story itself. Oh, it don't exacerbate things! What does that mean? This isn't exactly fair. Yeah. Thank you. It's okay. 
<laughs> I love how she said thank you. Hey, he's always hated me and now he wants to shoot my mom. She's not. You never thought I deserved her, that I was good enough. What are you talking about? Oh, come wow, on. Wow, man. Simon Pegg's performance in this is so dang good, man. Just another zombie. Don't say that. We're not using the said word. Please, can we just calm the fuck down? Yeah, honestly, that was that was pretty hardcore. Thank you, Damn. Damn. Like, just the way that was shot, that was edited, how close the shots were, the acting, that was really good. I'm sorry, Mom. Mm. And kind of what I was saying previously about Sean's character, you know, his story arc, his character growth, I see a lot due to his decision making. Because if you look at his character from the beginning of the movie, you did the right thing there. when his, you know, his lack of decision making was just non-existent to now, you can definitely see how much he's grown as a leader, as a hero, because of the decisions he's been he's been making, not just for himself, but for everybody. Oh man! Oh my goodness! Oh, that is crazy to look at. Oh my god! Oh man, this whole entire set is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. I'm just, I'm useless. You shouldn't feel so responsible. You tried. Man, you did something. That's what counts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Doing something is better than doing nothing. That's for sure. I think that's one of the many things he's grown to understand throughout this entire zombie apocalypse. Be man, Sean and Ed's characters are just so good, man. They really do make this movie. I think everyone does, and everything did but i especially love their dynamic it's just so good <laughs> oh my god Show yep yep everything has a payoff you got to love it it's just so dang good player 2 has entered the game uh. Ed! Buddies for life, man. Buddies for freaking life. That's how you know that's a friend. Awesome freaking movie. All right, everybody, and that wraps up Shaun of the Dead. Now, again, guys, like this is something that I've watched prior to me being into filmmaking, and I, I, I'm so happy that I'm able to rewatch these films now from the perspective of an actual filmmaker and someone who knows the in and outs of camera movements, lenses, uh, direction, cinematography, screenwriting, uh, producing, the in and outs of just filmmaking and just seeing just all of that come together and breathe life in a film like Son of the Dead. And I love, I love, love, love the life that's in this film. I love that, you know, they really flip this, the, the zombie script on its head to, you know, kind of emphasize a story, a central th theme of kind of growing up and, you know, facing adulthood and taking responsibility but like you know it didn't have the zombie apocalypse be the driving force of that you know it was more of like the background hence what was being showcased a little bit um in the beginning of the movie you know it was just in the background the central theme was always about sean and i love that i love that i love that i love that because it shined through you know the camera movements and the comedy just the editing how the camera worked and the direction the acting was phenomenal it, it was just it was just so awesome to watch just from uh, an audience perspective and also just someone who would appreciate quality films you know quality films that you know bring forth quality themes in their storytelling and i think a lot of themes can be you know kind of chipped and plucked away from a movie such as this i mean 
it's really cool because i think at the base level it can just it can literally just be a fun movie to watch and you know you don't have to think super hard about it and it's just something that you can watch with your friends and i think that's awesome but on the other note it's something that you can really deeply analyze from the characters from the actual town the environment from you know the internal conflict that sean was going through just all these details you can kind of just pick apart from like the script to the characters to the theme if you choose to and i think that's really awesome and i think that's something that this film has expertly done and i think that you know Edgar Wright does in each and every one of his films so I commend him 100% on that he's just it's just one of my favorite uh, directors out right now because of just how he's able to tackle his style and how he's able to transport you from obviously wherever you are they're just having a basically good time but then also taking you into a deeper place that you didn't even realize and i think that's the beautiful thing about storytelling in general so guys tell me what you guys thought about this again definitely check out the full length below because i talk a whole lot more about this film and all of its subtleties and the filmmaking and all that good stuff but guys again thank you so much for the support be healthy be hydrated because we are just getting started purple jacket pocket full of weed Everything that I should ever need Grab some matches cause they give them free Just like my time Hair pulled back in the backseat